George, the real big political story this week was a significant setback for the setback for the White House on the health care law. They are delaying the implementation of the employer mandate that requires all companies over 50 employees to provide health care. How, how big a setback? What's going on? They're changing the law. We have a Treasury Secretary, we have three Deputy Treasury Secretaries, underneath whom there are 12 Assistant Secretaries. Late Tuesday afternoon, they sent out one of the 12. Didn't send him out, he did it on a web posting yeah. that said, by the way, the law passed by Congress that makes no provision for waiving this shall be waived. By the way, they did this while the entire White House press corps was on a plane from Tanzania on a 20-hour flight, but anyway. <laughs> here, here is the problem. Um, in addition to the fact that Obamacare is hideously complicated Rube Goldberg contraction, beyond that, it puts in place perverse incentives. The employer mandate says if you have 50 or more full-time employees, and until Congress changes this, which it will, it defines full-time employees as 30 hours a week, you have to pay a substantial sum for each of their health care. Now, the employers, not being dummies, have said, well, let's have fewer employees and make many of the employees we have part-time employees. Working 29 and a half well, hours. Well, the Obamacare requires for it to work mass irrationality, both on the part of employers to ignore that incentive, and on the part of young people who are supposed to pay three, four, five times more for health insurance than it would cost them to just pay the fine and ignore it.